My first introduction to burlesque was actually seeing the film Gypsy, uh, starring Natalie Wood as the lead character of Gypsy. And I watched this with, with my mother when I was a very small child. And I loved that all the characters had such individual personalities, and that's what drew me to the genre of burlesque. But since then, I would say I've been inspired by a lot of other uh, movies um, and uh, films through that 40s, 50s, 60s period. I would say some of my strongest icons uh, for me have been Sophia Loren, Raquel Welsh, Ava Gardner, and real camp kitsch heroines like Jane Mansfield. Um, big fan of Divine, and I would say one of my muses is most definitely Liberace. All of my corsetry is so uncomfortable, I'd love to ditch it, but then you wouldn't get the look. <laughs> but then I say no pain, no gain. And you wouldn't know on stage that I was in pain. Well, I actually have a rather accurate description in my opening chapter of what you do to get into a corset. And it does involve, once you've done the first pull of the strings, if you give yourself 10 minutes to let your organs resettle, you can usually pull another good inch or two off the waist. The time it takes me to get ready for a show varies depending on what show I'm doing. If I'm doing my reverse striptease, then obviously I start naked. So all of my dressing takes place on stage. Um, for my more complex costumes, it, it can take quite a while and quick change is not in my vocabulary at all. Um, I have a huge team of costumiers um, and I have Stephen Jones here in London who creates my headdresses. Um, I have people in Paris, Jersey, uh, Las Vegas, um, who all create my costumes for me. So it's quite a little industry. I think glamour is a very personal thing. And I think women who are at their most glamorous is when they're looking their most effortless, effortlessly chic, comfortable and confident, I think. And it doesn't have to be about being trussed up or complicated, but effortless chic and class. A lot of women do come to my shows and I think that the genre of burlesque actually appeals to women um, as much if not more than it does to men. Um, I think the glamour really appeals and also the show is done in such a theatrical way and it's such a huge spectacle and it's, it's like this huge fantasy unfolding before your eyes. So um, with those elements and the really erotic undertow, it definitely means that the performers are very much uh, glorified as women rather than objectified.